Hi guys, Mike Greer, the project management minimalist here, answering the cosmic question, loops and hoops and waterfalls, what's a PM minimalist to do? Now here's the deal, if you're like most project managers, and especially if you're a PM minimalist, you aren't all that into PM theory, but the day will come when these guys come at you, whether it's a born again PMP or one of your senior managers that knows just enough to be dangerous, who stumbled into agile, scrum, iterative processes or whatever the project management methodology of the day is and they're going to ask you why aren't we doing this well let's get grounded here and remember what you're trying to do is function as a PM minimalist and that means just enough project management to stay out of people's way to keep the project rolling without crushing the life out of it and as we've said elsewhere the PM minimalist nuts and bolts approach is simply 10 steps where we define the project concept get support and approval get your team together start the project figure out exactly what the finished work products are going to be tangible deliverables then based on that figure out what you need to do to complete the work products identify your tasks and phases after that, you're in a position to estimate time, effort, and resources. From that, build a schedule, turn that into a cost estimate, and then get the project cranked up and keep it moving. The object of the game being to get it done effectively as planned and handle scope changes along the way, closing out phases and closing out the project finally when it's all over. So I'm not going to go into these in detail. There's other videos where I've done that. But here you are minding your own business. When these guys come at you with all this stuff, you're already busy, and they're saying, look, uh, why aren't you thinking of these? And you're going, ah, come on, man. I am busy here. This is making me crazy. But you know what? It's my project, and it's my choice how I employ, if I employ this stuff. So I'm going to step back and think about it a bit. I'm going to say, wait a minute, waterfall, agile, scrum, Really, when I look into each of those boxes, I see it's all about the tasks. And I see that what happens is, in terms of my minimalism, only step four is impacted. Figure out what you need to do to complete the work products. And all of these processes here are simply manifestations of various task listings and various ways of depicting phases. Okay, so that's the deal. Waterfall typically works with something that you don't have to double back on. That's very, very simple, uh, clean projects, such as building a house, where you go through a blueprint to the framing, to the foundation, and so forth, and finally the finished product. It works with like a publishing project, where you write in, write your, your outline, and then you do your draft, and then you do your, your next draft, and, and you know move to the finished manuscript, and so forth. Whereas Agile was born in the land of crazy, in the land of squirrely, where and that means software. What I'm talking about is software and new technologies where we don't really know what we, we are going to be faced with. So we build a little bit, we get a highly interactive collaborative team cranked up and we build a little bit and we work with the customer a lot and interact, lots and lots of interaction. And we never take a project more than, more than one or two weeks and we're constantly producing something useful. Scrum is merely another way of looking at Agile. It's a manifestation of Agile. As you see here, a Scrum sprint uh, can be little, as little as 24 hours or as long as 30 days, but those sprints result in tangible finished products, and gradually you figure out iteratively how to get stuff done. So as we've said in The Minimalist, this is about iterations. It's about creating something, sharing it, getting feedback, revising it, and in fact you can overlay that on any waterfall process. So here we have, uh, you know, enter your project's life cycle here. So it's your project, your choice. You can choose a methodology and be informed and gently influenced by it, and or you can follow one exactly in your best possible, uh, you know, as best as you can. You can use experts and make sure you're complying 100%, or you can take classes and get certified and yada, 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 all that kind of stuff. But the bottom line is, what you need to do is take charge. It is your project and your choice. For more information about the minimalist approach, go to michaelgreer.biz. And finally, looking for freebies related here under articles and white papers and all kinds of great freebies, go to michaelgreer.biz where you can dig up free papers and free training. So good luck with this stuff out there. And remember, take charge.